What was that? Why were we doing that? Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Today I'm sharing my beauty and lifestyle favorites. We're gonna get started with some makeup. I also have some fragrance, some body care products, and a couple lifestyle products as well. So starting with makeup, I have to share my favorite foundation currently. It's the Makeup Forever HD Skin Glow. I think it's called Hydro Glow love this stuff it's amazing my skin has been on the drier side lately and this has been so amazing for me like i love the original i love the skin version of this that came out a couple years ago this one however is my new favorite love the coverage love the finish love the overall look i'm wearing it today i think the shade matches perfect as well i wear shade 4n 62 in this foundation also for foundation i've been loving the amicole stick foundations amazing i love these they are not as much coverage as the hd skin this is more of a light to medium coverage but i still think it's really beautiful i have the shade 220 i think this is the one i use or maybe 240 i have both let me double check hold on <laughs> okay yes 240 is my shade but i usually mix the two just to get some dimension love this foundation stick i think it's amazing Moving into bronzer, I've been obsessed with this LYS bronzer for months at this point. I love it so much. It's amazing. And I use the shade uh, Strength in this bronzer. It's so beautiful. It's so, so creamy. I love it. I recently got this bronzer stick from Dibs as well. Besides this product, I haven't tried anything from Dibs, so I'm not really familiar with any other products in the brand, but these are amazing. I have the shade Saturn Sky and another shade called Cosmic Current. I use Saturn Shot. Scat scattered shot i use saturn sky i used it today it's beautiful it's a deeper bronze i'll show you guys it's a very it's a very deep contour but it's so pretty i have it on under my powder and then i also it also comes with a blush so you have a bronzer you have a contour and a blush in one this blush is really really pretty it's like this orangey tone and i always love these shades i always talk about these types of like orangey um blush shades they are definitely one of my favorite types of blush colors so and i've been really into cream bronzer cream contour lately at least in the past six months i've been definitely more into them more than ever so definitely want to share those as far as brows i've been really loving the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze gel this is basically a gel you apply to your brows and it helps keep your hair in place i use it every day not every day but i have been using it whenever i do my brows i am wearing it today typically i'll comb my brow hairs up but you can put them however you want this would just help them stay in place all day and i like that it's a gel like this type of format versus the um container because the applicator is already here i love this product i have quite a few lip products that i've been enjoying the first one is the k skin lip balm this is their lip balm in the shade ivy rose but i also have nude ting i think it's called Maybe I'm making that up. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. But I love that shade as well. And these have SPF 30. So it's great in the summer. Like if you're out in the summer by the pool or just out and about in general, you can burn your lips even in the winter. But typically for me, it happens in the summer, especially if I'm on vacation in a hotter climate where I'm literally sitting outside. My lips have gotten burned and it's so uncomfortable. So having SPF 30 will definitely help. And I love the texture, color, and feel of this lip balm also the makeup by mario lipstick in bronx baddie is that what it's called no bronx baby <laughs> not me making up names this is a very pretty everyday color i think it's perfect for any day it's really really nice i also love the consistency texture and look of this product i also love his lipstick that come in the white tubes these are a little different they're the super satin lipstick also for lipstick, I finally got Teddy 2.0 from MAC. It's the powder kiss. I had been looking for this for a little bit because one of you guys had told me it was really pretty and I would like it. It's right here. I have other swatches on my hand, so ignore that. But it's right here. I think it's really pretty. Very similar. So perfect for every day. I love the color. love the consistency. It's just a pretty shade. Personally, I love me a MAC lipstick. They will forever be some of my favorite lipsticks. I am wearing it today, but I do have something on top of it. 
and that is the Mac. I don't know what these are called actually. This is the Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick. Didn't know that's what that was called. And this shade is actually Simulation. This is my first time trying these and I love them. So this one is really pretty. It's like a nudey, like a dark nude color. I have it on right now. It has a little bit of a tingle, not too much, but it's so pretty. And together they look really nice. I think on its own it will look nice as well. But honestly, since I've got it, I've only been wearing it on top of lipsticks. I definitely love this product and I vaguely remember it being viral when it first launched, but I never ended up getting it. I think it was sold out when I tried getting it. Also for glosses, I've been really into these Chanel glosses. This one is in 722. I don't know the actual name of it, but it's a really pretty gloss. It kind of has like a nice sparkle to it. It's like a nude with a little bit of a sparkle as you can see here. Perfect for everyday as well. And then I also have 119. I do love other Chanel glosses. Honestly, I feel like Chanel glosses are probably some of my favorites because I have quite a few favorite glosses from Chanel. This one is really pretty. It's kind of like a mauve berry tone. This is it here really nice personally i would consider this an everyday shade as well because to me it's kind of like an everyday color it's definitely not as neutral as the other shades but love the formula of the chanel lip gloss i think they're really really pretty and then also for lips i have been really loving these lawless glosses but this one is in the shade nudie it's a newer shade I love these. The formula is really nice. This is the shade here. Lawless also has a really nice gloss formula. If you haven't tried their glosses, I definitely recommend trying them. The Forget the Filler line, I think that's their only line of glosses, but I definitely love their glosses. And this one is a really pretty shade. They also came out with a deeper, like more um, brown nude shade, which is really nice as well. But I haven't gotten a chance to wear it, so I can't say it's a favorite. This one, really pretty. Love it. Also for makeup, I've been really into the Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Peachy Pie or Peach Pie. Yeah, I just create my own names apparently for these products. This has been my new go-to powder. I was really into the pink last year, and this year I've been really into this peachy tone. It's very similar to the pink shade, but I think because it's like a peach, it looks a little bit more natural. And when I say a little, I mean like, like, this much more like a little bit <laughs> but I think it's really pretty and I love the Huda Beauty formula so I think just overall I think it's a beautiful powder so those are my makeup favorites let's get into perfume because I can't wait to share with you guys okay so firstly I got this perfume last month for my birthday this is Ella Rose from Maison Francis Cartesian this is such a beautiful perfume I will have all the details on the screen because I literally cannot remember what they are but i'm obsessed with this i think it's so beautiful it smells like roses but in the nicest most feminine pleasant way i feel like rose can be very strong and overbearing for me but this one is so pretty i absolutely love it i think i'm becoming a rose girl for sure actually before i mention the other two fragrances i wanted to mention this because i think together this is a body care favorite from 54 thrones and it's their cloud repair cream and i absolutely love this i had this in my cart off and on in the vanilla version it's like a yellow tube it's a yellow container and i hadn't gotten it but i saw they came out with the pink one and i <laughs> i saw the pink and i couldn't pass it up so i ordered the pink one the scent is moroccan rose and kenyan hibiscus and this smells so beautiful as soon as i opened it i knew immediately it would go really well with this and i was saying this in one of my vlogs but i feel like i'm becoming more of a rose lover i don't know if it's because i'm getting older like rose it just seems so elegant and mature and ladylike to me so i'm becoming a rose girl and i love this together beautiful the texture of this is amazing you guys like it will make your hands your body just look and feel amazing if you haven't tried 54 throne products definitely do so the little creams in the tubes are more of an oil consistency like they melt into kind of like an oil this one doesn't it's more like a butter i would say so two different consistencies if you've tried the um, like the ones in the gold tube. I love those as well, but it's different than this one. Back to perfumes, Dulce by Rosie Jane has been one of my go-tos. I wear this a lot to the gym. I have the full size and then I have this little travel size as well. I love that most travel size come with sprays now because the rollerball, like what was that? What was that? Why were we doing that? 
Anyways, I love this. I think it's such a beautiful scent. It's a very light wash of vanilla. It's very sweet and fun and like flirty, girly. I think it's really, really pretty. And then my newest perfume is Amber Vanilla from The Seven Virtues. Now this is a grown and sexy vanilla, okay? This is so pretty. You may know this brand from the fragrance Vanilla Woods. It was really, really popular a couple years ago. It's one of my favorite vanillas as well. And they released a couple other vanillas that I didn't really care for, wasn't the biggest fan of, but this one, so stunning. You definitely have to try this. I feel like it's like Vanilla Woods, but grown and elevated. Personally, I feel like if you like Vanilla Woods, you would love this as well. It's like a more sophisticated version in my opinion. Like, it's not as sweet, but it's just as vanilla-y, vanilla-y. <laughs> It's really pretty. You definitely have to try this. I do need to get the full size because I love it. Also for body care, I have been using this NYX oil. This is such a pretty oil. It has these little sparkles. I have this one in the shade or color. I don't know what color this is, but they come in different colors. I have this one linked below, but it's just so pretty. It also smells really nice. I love this product. I'm all about a really beautiful body shimmer. I actually just got another one from Kopari, which I love as well. <laughs> it's newer, so I didn't feel like I should mention it yet. You know, I want to try it a little bit more. But this one has been one of my go-tos for the past month. I'll do like a little sample. So you can kind of see like what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. It looks really pretty, especially like on your decollete area. Really beautiful, stunning. Like I love this oil. It also smells so beautiful, so elegant smells delicious i also wanted to share my balls with you guys these are my pink balls and i use this for facial massaging last month i got a massage like a facial mas a facial and the lady the masseuse or yes you call them masseuse, the facialist i don't esthetician yeah esthetician she used her fingers to sculpt my face and when i walked out of that room i definitely saw a difference I immediately ordered this on Amazon the, the night. Like I had my mom get it for me for my birthday because I'm like, I need this. It helps sculpt your face. I've been really loving this. It seems gimmicky to me when I first heard about it. But once I saw the results of that facial, I was like, wait, I think I need something like this. Like I know I can't do this myself with my hands. I'm not that skilled, but I think with a tool like this, I can achieve that. And that is definitely true. So I've been really loving my little pink balls. Okay. <laughs> Lastly, I wanted to share a couple lifestyle favorites. The first one is my five minute journal. I've been using this every day. Well, every day would be a lie, but I've been using this on mornings when I remember <laughs> to kind of write down my goals. So it kind of has three sections for the morning and then two for the evening. You write down what you're grateful for, what would make today great and your daily affirmation. And then at the end of the night, you write down your highlight of the day and what did I learn today? I love this. I feel like it helps me start my day off right and just helps me collect my thoughts in the morning. To me, it's a great addition to prayer because it helps me write things down. I don't always write stuff down when I'm praying, but this helps me kind of gather my thoughts and write it down. I've also been doing a lot of motivational talks or just like educational talks or podcasts. So a couple of podcasts I've been really loving are Jay Shetty's podcast. I think his podcast is amazing. I always learn a ton of things on there. And then I also like the Skinny Confidential. I've mentioned them to you guys in the past, but I love their wellness episodes or episodes where they interview people People that I learn a lot from those are my go-to podcasts at the moment for the current month if you have any things that you've been really really loving in these categories comment below because I'm always curious in what you guys are into so I could try it out myself and so other people in the comments can see because I know sometimes you guys read each other's comments so definitely share some favorites that you've been loving and if you have any podcasts that you've been loving share that as well but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye